Hello friends this is Aparna and welcome to Always on Learning Today we are going to discuss about rational numbers and irrational numbers But before going into that let us see some other basic concepts like what are natural numbers Well from the time we started counting we have been counting objects like 1 2 3 4 and 5 well these are your natural numbers then what about whole numbers well how do you represent the value of nothing yes 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 and so on becomes your whole numbers Okay we know what natural numbers are and whole numbers are but what about integers well the positive numbers the negative numbers along with zero becomes your integers like minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and so on 0 1 2 3 4 5 and so on so these are your integers well we know what decimals are examples for decimals are 1.25.25.275 etc well now what about fractions 1 by 3 2 by 6 1 by 2 all these are examples of fractions now let us go to a topic rational numbers what is a rational number the answer lies in the word itself rational number ratios any number that can be expressed in a p by q form is called a rational number where q is not equal to 0 why can't q be equal to 0 we know any number divided by 0 is undefined can you multiply 0 3 times to get a value well no so any number that can be expressed in a simple fraction form is called your rational number now let us take some examples is 3 a rational number yes 3 can be expressed as 3 by 1 3 can also be expressed as minus 3 by minus 1 what about minus 2 it is an integer is it a rational number well minus 2 can be expressed as minus 2 by 1 or 2 by minus 1 now what about decimals like 2.75 2.75 can be expressed as 275 by 100 or 550 by 200 well now we know all these are rational numbers so then what is an irrational number are they very rare let us take the example of pi You know what pi is? Yes, it is circumference by diameter of a circle. Now we know the value of pi as three point one four one five nine two six five and so on. It is non-terminating and it is non-recurring. Well, this is an example for an irrational number. it cannot be expressed in a simple fraction form well we have estimated the value of pi as 22 by 7 it is close but not accurate 22 by 7 will not give you the same value so this was an example of a irrational number now let us take another example what is the square root of 2 Well, you can try it out in your calculator. You will find it as one point four one four two one three five, and so on. It is again non-terminating and non-recurring. Well, now there you go. Is irrational number very rare? No. Between any two rational number, you will find at least one irrational number. Now tell me, is point six 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 a rational number? 0.666 is something that you get by dividing 2 by 3 if you divide 2 divided by 3 you get 0.66666 it is also non terminating but it is recurring 
you denote it as 0.6 and a small line on top of 6 to show that it is repeating. Yes, it is a rational number because it can be expressed in the form 2 by 3. So, I hope you understood what rational and irrational numbers are.